elbow wrenching dressing day. We had the rain was insane yesterday. Hey up Woodlanders, welcome to 2024 in Woodland Paradise. Those of you who are keen spotted may have noticed a slightly wet start to 2024 here in the UK. The rain was insane yesterday. Nearly every village in this area that I know of has sort of had floods of some sort and roads blocked and police warnings and the Trent is versus banks again and you can't get from village to village because of you know, it's utter chaos. We won't dwell on the obvious. We find ourselves back in Rosserston this morning. My little jobs today are the weaving rods. This is the last bit of extraction we've got to do and this will all be done by hand. So we've got piles. I mean, we talked about piles last wood log, but we've got piles everywhere in here. And I think I'm going to be spending at least all day today dressing. There's no fast route to it. Um, I probably stitched myself up in that I've not actually done any dressing of rods up to this point. So it's now going to be an elbow wrenching dressing day. It's one of those mindfulness days where you can just zone out of uh, what's going on and um, plan my 2024. I've written down my goals already. I may not achieve really many of those, but it's nice to have a goal. You have to have plans and dreams. I'm a bit of a dreamer, really. So feel free to have a tap away in the comments on how you see yourself in 2024. It's the owls again. Unbelievable. Yeah, both owls going at it. Last year, which was only about three days ago, I mentioned in one of the wood logs that I wanted to plant a tree for Bo. Bo was a little girl who lost her life. She was only about seven months um, gestation, is it? I don't know how you really say these things. We had some great suggestions from you guys about that. And I wanted to try and incorporate Bo into the title of the tree, if possible. And because her name is spelt B-E-A-U, we had a suggestion for Beauty of Bath, which was very well received. So I did a quick bit of research, found a Beauty of Bath apple tree on Tinternet, ordered it from a nursery, came really quickly, about just over a week ago, and contacted our friend who wanted to be involved in planting the apple tree, and then a few other things came together where both Bruce and someone called somebody, which I don't know, it's just made me smile. So thank you Bruce and somebody who bought us some coffees on Buy Me A Coffee and that paid for the tree in its entirety, which was absolutely fantastic. Thanks to your generosity, we now have a tree planted in and settling well for baby Bo. But in a way, you guys both suggested and paid for baby Bo's tree. So I just want to say, I really appreciate that. One of my goals for 2024 is to, I'm hoping to make more smaller items. So whether it's the Etsy shop, or whether I do it on eBay, I figured in my mind that if I'm gonna to contribute to a channel, I would much rather contribute to not just the making of the videos, but if this person makes something anyway, is maybe buy that one of their wares, and that sort of dignifies them 
so that if you want to support the channel you can do and actually get a product at the end of it. So let me know if you think that'll work. I remember years back I had this goal of making a green woodworking uh, kind of spatula or a stir or a spoon every single day. Well I got about a week in and <laughs> I just give up. <laughs> it was a, 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 a goal I just could not achieve. So I just it kind of came to me just then and I thought to myself what New Year goals have you had in the past that failed completely? Tough going on my shoulders, that is. Morning. We're out on location today. We're in a place called Ticknell. Got a couple of guys working behind me. One's on the ground trying to get some of the double stem trees out. And I'm on pruning today. I pruning. Someone's woodland. With the idea of just trying to improve the quality of the timber in subsequent years. It's pretty hard going for quite nice. Swinging this great thing up in the air, which is like a strimmer with a chainsaw on the end. But it's a stunning day. I'll give you a spin round. I hope that didn't make you too dizzy. Stunning day. We'll crack on. And it's still a tea break. See where we get to. It's very difficult to do a time lapse when you're on a bit of a mission on day rate. We did a full day yesterday, which is a bit of a learning curve. You, can, you might be able to see up there. That's George. George watches the wood logs. And you might be able to see some of the bigger prunes that we've done. Some big limbs coming off, which is about full capacity for this little strimmer saw. Right, we will continue. Good morning. Pretty chilly start this morning. It's about zero, which is, by comparison to some places in the world, positively warm. But it is just a little bit chilly for me this morning. I think I might even put my hat on in a moment. We've got a trailer full of wood shavings. I went to see a guy last night about some oak planks I needed. He said, do you want any shavings? Well, not really. Maybe I can use them for planting, putting mulch around trees when I'm planting up this winter. Because it's only clean shavings off his planer. So I've come back with a trailer full of shavings. So my first job this morning is to get these off so I can empty the trailer, get the oak out from underneath, then I've got to get some fence panels for a job. I've got to get some timber for some hazel hurdles and some posts for that. I was kind of hoping to get up to Jeff's today and extract the last of the hazel rods from that particular coop. But if I get two hours later, I'll go and do that. But I don't think that's going to happen. So the last couple of days have been mad crazy busy trying to get that pruning done. I've got another couple of days next week. We managed to get an awful lot done. The landowner applied for a grant and it was simply a case of trying to do as much pruning as possible to fulfill the, the uh, remit of the grant. The purpose of it really is to try to get a single stem trees that reaches like a, a good timber tree. Now, all of us at some point during the day were questioning whether that was actually possible from this plantation woodland nevertheless he's gonna have a go 
Isn't it annoying when you try and speak? Some idiot goes and flies helicopter. <laughs> London was full of bramble. My legs, I know you haven't seen my legs for a while and it's a bit of a shocker. And if you've got a little bit of a sensitive stomach, you might want to look away now. But my legs battered by the bramble. I don't know where you can see that. I'll try and zoom in. Look at it. Been fighting with wild lions or something. So today it feels like I'm playing catch up. But if nothing else, I've actually earned a little bit of money. But look at this oak. Mick was worried that it wasn't figured enough for me, but I am well impressed with that. Budo, if you're listening, you'd be impressed. This is for a tabletop for my sister, and there's three pieces in here. But there's some quarter sawn, and you can see some of the quarter sawn ripples in it as well. All English oak from a woodland only about 20 miles away from here. It isn't premium, t um, like joinery furniture grade timber because of the shakes in it and other bits and pieces. There's some, some dead knots in it and things like that. But if you're after featured timber, this is ideal. There you see there's a remnant of a nail that had gone in at some point, And that's the blue staining that you get which, where the tannins react with the nail. This sapwood, even though it looks quite nice and featured, all of that will have to be cut off because it will just, woodworm will just go straight to it and you end up with this peppered mess. Okay, so I've got to drop these off at my sister's. But I've got to go and get some logs in, so I won't show you that because we all know how to bag logs. Just got back from looking at some fencing jobs and now, got to unload this lot and carry it all up the garden and beyond that we've got some more timber which is going to be for gate making so what you see here is about 350 pounds worth of timber so we'll pick this back up again tomorrow see you in the morning System today, getting the last of the hazel weaving rods out, bundle up, get them out on my wheelbarrow, and that'll be all this area done. Then it's just thinnings. Then spotted something that looks like a plucky bag. Yeah. We'll get rid of that. I think the badgers have unearthed it because I didn't see that when I was in here coppicing. struggling with my hip this morning. Uh, in fact I've been struggling with my hip for about a month now. I've got an ingrowing toenail. Well, the ingrowing toenail was, it must have been affected how I walked because it was particularly painful. And it also affected how I slept at night so it meant that rather than my toe hitting the bed sheets, it's really gross isn't it? I had to kind of twist my body and I think what I did I twisted my hip so I think they call it hip bursitis so although it feels like I've been driven into by a car it's very tender so um, it's Friday today so I'm going to have a bit of an easier weekend and try not to do too much walking the mud this year has made my life very difficult I've had to carry a lot more on my shoulders trying to get stuff out of the woodland where because I can't get my vehicle anywhere nearby and then carrying out stakes and carrying my chainsaw for long distances and and then slip sliding in mud it's obviously aggravated it so it's cold compress this weekend and lots of epsom salts and trying just to nurse my hip so that i'm not going to aggravate it any further the good news is my toenail was fully healed up i didn't have to have my toenail off i'm happy about that so i'm hoping because that's better that and the mud's drying up gradually my hip will get better as well
I think that might be it. The last weaving rod in this particular coop, and I won't say the last weaving rod this year out of this woodland, because I'm just not sure yet how and what and where the cutting is going to be, because it's all, ouch. Blackberry in the It's a nice feeling to know that I've got everything extracted out of this section. So we'll get these back to the yard on my little wooden barrow and then we'll see about getting the wooden barrow back up to our woodland because I don't think I need it here anymore and I could do with it the next week really. We've got the logman coming any time now for a trailer full of timber for firewood. So thanks for watching this week. If you're able to, carry on coppicing and I'll see you on the next one. And remember, dreams don't work unless you do.